That's the first step. Is that you're going to start off with, with your research, right? Now, I'm not even sure if it will directly impact, but let's say it will, and you, you can't change it. So you're going to do research, and then you're going to do conditioning. Um, you're going to look for people maybe, so you're going to look for guys who have physical disabilities along the same line, may not be exactly the same. Um, but I, I've worked with um, clients who have hearing impairments, severe hearing impairments or, or vision impairments. And what's amazing to me is actually there are quite a few uh, really powerful guys who also have those impairments. Um, Lou Ferrigno was deaf in one ear, um, and uh, he had achieved so much in his life, you know, Mr. Universe and then in TV and movies. And uh, that's an example, I mean, that's just one example. You could just do more and more of that. And then you condition your mind into seeing that it's not, it's not actually going to be so much of a, like, I'll, I'll just start off just a real surface level reframe for you, um, is that, and obviously the more research I can do, the better it will be, but um, if, if a girl finds out about your disability, then it will, it's already a screen. Like, can you handle that? I'm an amazing guy, but can you handle that? How cool are you? You know, any girl who will stay with you past that is, is going to show herself as being, you know, somebody that is mature enough or cool enough for you, you know, that will work for you. Um, you don't want a superficial girl. I mean, you know, it's not just about the sex, right? So <laughs> that's a great way to screen a girl right off the, the front, and she can't say anything about that. You know, it's not like she can make fun of you, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's great because I, you know, the, my trump card is always racism. When it, if, if someone gives me that, some racist comment, I just say, excuse me, did you, are you racist? And I'm not going to confront them. I'm just going to make it very loud. And I'll, I'll just make it, that's that one word I just throw it out, make it, make it a bit louder. Like, are you racist? <laughs> you know, just to, like, what can she say to that? Like, uh, she's going to have to tone it down. I just want, you know, if you, so if you're honest with yourself, you're not ashamed of who you are, but you think, actually, this is who I am, and it's a condition that I have. But it means that I'm going to be, have to compensate in other areas of my life to be stronger. Like, I had a client who um, didn't have uh, use of his legs. So he just ended up working his upper body. <laughs> he became, like, super jacked his upper body and could, like, lift himself everywhere. It was insane. Like, he could do, um, what do you call those, the muscle-ups on the pull-up bar? Um, just like, like I was doing pull-ups. Like, he just... And what, what's really cool is that you, it will force you to be stronger in other areas. And if you can do that, then you've got the compensation there and you condition the belief that this is actually for your own good. And one way you can think of it is it will help you screen the women that you meet and the people that you meet. And I would even consider using that uh, early on, like first five minutes or so, put it out there. You're welcome. Okay, right, so I have to run back and forth. All right, yo, go for it. White lines, yeah. Yeah, great. Okay, how honest should you be? Can you tell white lies? And should you tell people what you think about them if it will hurt them or cause problems like a fight or a debate? Um, uh, so when I say honesty, I mean it first with yourself, honest with yourself and your insecurities. That's why for this example, I use limiting beliefs. So if you think somebody else is a fucking douchebag, you don't have to tell them because <laughs> that's not about yourself. Right? Um, and if it's white lies or white, white lies are great. That's the, one of the bases of flirting. Right? So you can tell lots of white lies. Why, a, a lie is white if she, can, if she knows that it's a lie or she suspects that it's a lie. And you don't care if she finds out because that's why it's funny. Right? So white lies are great. This is not about white lies. This is specifically, in this case, uh, targeting your own insecurities and just self lies. Lies to yourself about yourself. So first be honest about where you are and then just express that. Yeah, especially when it comes to other people, if it's about them, there are plenty of times when you don't want to tell them what you really think, because it's just not going to help anything. Yeah, thank you for that question, that clarification. Um, other questions? Andy. Oh, yeah.
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Sure, right. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you're saying that with cerebral palsy, in your case, it's actually a strength um, because they find it exotic. But to an extent, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't use it in a club, uh, right? You'd, you'd say you're, it was a football injury. Yeah. Great. Actually, that's, it raises another great point, that I, I should, a clarification I should have made. When you're flirting and it doesn't bother you, then this won't come up. Like you're in the flow and you're going to say whatever the fuck you want, just say whatever the fuck you want, right? It's only when, when you've been hit you feel that something inside you is off. Maybe she just made a joke about people with cerebral palsy, not knowing that you have it, and that hurt. And now you, you, if you say, oh, it's a football injury, it's going to feel bad because you're, like, denying yourself. You know, that's when you bring it out. But you don't even have to say, if you don't want to, that you have cerebral palsy. You know, you can just also use intrigue. You know, I have this disability. You know, I don't think you can handle it. You know, I don't think you can handle it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and then let her ask for it. Let her work for it, you know? And then maybe on the date, you'll tell her. I don't know. I don't know. I still doubt you. I don't know if you can handle it, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, then you got your third leg to work on. So you've got it's a good limb. Okay. Um, other questions? Thank you. Okay, so Steve, you're asking about the difference be or the, the relation between pride and honesty yeah, sure. in the context of this talk. Um, so, uh, can you explain how you see them as being in, con in conflict? I don't. I think honesty brings pride. Right. Even a healthy amount of pride. Right. Honesty, you know, it's great stuff. Yes. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I totally, yeah. Okay, great, because, yeah, coming out of, um, you know, Christian context, pride is like the cardinal sin. So right. whenever I hear it, I'm like, oh, I don't want to be associated with it, but yeah, actually, that's what I'm trying to say. When I say you got to be proud of who you are, that's exactly, if that's all you mean about, if that's what you mean by pride. Um, it, pride can also mean I feel better than the next guy, or I want to be better than the next guy. I think that's in the Christian context, and that's why that could be dangerous. But if it's just that you're not ashamed of who you are, <laughs> if you're not ashamed of who you are, you just put it out there. Um, that's the honesty part of it. And in fact, you can't really be proud of who you... Maybe there are the parts of you that you're not proud of yet. You pay lip service to it. Theoretically, you know you should be proud of it, because I'm telling you to. <laughs> but you haven't actually done anything about it. When a girl challenges you about it, you just pretend like it's not true. Maybe you say, you know, it's a football injury. You don't want to tell her, for instance. Being honest is what will force the pride to come through. Maybe the first time you, you say it, you don't feel it. Um, but you just train it, and eventually when you put yourself out there, and over time, it's just out there for, you to, for everyone to see, then you'll be, you'll be a lot more proud of it. So the honesty will support the pride. Okay. Yeah, great question. That was deep. Um, do we have time for more? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.